going to be my Witch's Moon April unboxing. And I'm super, super, super excited. I tried to change up a little bit of my background so that you guys would be able to see more of what I'm liking to call my witchy poo corner. So thank you to my friend Colby for coming up with that name. Um, I had a really, really busy past few weeks. Last weekend was my birthday. I turned 18. So I'm really, really excited. And I was actually surprised with a visit from my best friend in Wyoming, Colby, came up and spent my birthday weekend with me in a few days. And we like explored Texas and did some things. That was really, really fun. So I really, really loved that. And I felt like I really needed that. And it kind of like refreshed me and just like made me really excited to finish up the school year to be able to see her again. And she named this my witchy poo corner. So yeah, if you guys didn't notice, I also got a new um, salt lamp, my first salt lamp, and it's so gorgeous. I love it. And then right behind my salt lamp, I have my incense burner. Um, so I've been burning some of the incense that I've gotten in past boxes, and it smells so amazing, and it really just makes the whole area that you're in smell like so good and so calming. Um, so I love that. And then I just am wearing my kind of like spooky crop top thing. So yeah, I'm feeling really, really good. I'm really excited to finish out the last two months or so of high school and move on to like bigger and better things. I'm just really, really excited. So, but I was also really excited to get the April The Witch's Moon box because there's a lot of great stuff in this box. I already went through the box just because I get so anxious and I like to see everything. So, I couldn't wait for you guys. I'm so sorry, but we are going to open this now together. So, again, if you guys want to check out this box, it is $55 a month, but it's so worth it. All the products that come in here are genuinely amazing, and you'll genuinely love them whether you practice witchcraft or not. And I know that I love opening up them up every month and adding them to my corner and just making this whole area just so calming and so beautiful. So, I love doing that with all the items that I get in my boxes each month. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe. The button will be down below. And with that, let's get on in to the video. So opening up the box, as you guys know, all the boxes come like this. So it has the um, little pamphlet that's going to explain everything that's in the box for us. Um, so let's open up and see the theme. So the theme for this month is Nature Spirit. So it says, as we pursue intimate connection and purpose on our journey, we refine our focus on our roots that are so strongly intertwined with those of beautiful Mother Earth. We recognize and embrace the power and spirit of her nature, drawing energy and intention from within the life force she so sacredly holds. The bounty that she presents and the knowledge that she bears is but a small portion of the treasures the enlightened so e eagerly seek. We connect with these natural forces to create harmony, sustain balance, and discover self. In this much-requested collection, we have sought after and curated the necessary tools to obtain knowledge and energy from the all-natural. The power of nature's spirit has played a large role in our craft and continues to be the energy force that drives our intentions into fruit fruition. It is important to always remember that your path is sacred to your individual self. I recommend taking the time to connect with the items in this box and use them in a way that feels correct to you. And so that just kind of explains like a way that you can um, practice with these items, so that's really, really cool. Okay, so the first thing that we have is this right here. Which is this a sigil? Yeah, an attunement sigil. We have included a replica of the attunement sigil that we have created to enhance the balance and clear space in our rituals and meditations. We have also painted the sigil on the leaves of trees and flowers and have placed them around our space to bring forth the natural energies of balance and enlightenment. We recommend charging the sigil with herbs and fruits of the earth. So that's really, really cool. Um, I do have a lot of uh, the other sigils. Both of them are actually back here, so I'll have to add this one to the collection. Okay, next is they give you the personal tarot card reading, which mine is so pretty this month. It says Rose Quartz, um, and it says, I allow love and open my heart to attention, affection, and my romantic partner. It says, attract your soulmate, increase feelings of comfort and acceptance, amplify unconditional love, cultivate good friends, family, and work relationships. So I think that's really, really cool. So it says, we have meditated and selected a card from the Crystal Intentions Oracle, and to place this card in the message that it holds was meant for you. So I'm actually kind of relating to this because I've really kind of been struggling in like the love life department and just really feeling hopeless and like no one's ever going to be able to like treat me and respect me the way that I want. So I really think this kind of like speaks deeply into me and my personal life. So I'm definitely going to be putting this back here along with my other two cards that I have back here as well. So I love those. I'm all about tarot card reading. I love it. I'm going next month to New Orleans to get my tarot cards right now. I cannot wait. I'll have to take you guys along. So the next thing that we have in here is the artwork that always comes in here. This one, this month is so beautiful. It says Beltane 
or something like that and it has a tree that's like a person and it's kissing a lady and then it always kind of tells the story of like what's going on in the picture so it says the um where it is the Beltane, the Beltane Book of Shadows artwork, this beautiful book of art, Shadows artwork was created by Adrian Alden exclusively for the Witch's Moon. So Adrian Alden is the person that does all of these drawings. That's why they kind of all look the same, but they're all beautiful and I love them. And as you can see, my collection is back here. So I'm going to have to make more room to add my other ones to the collection as well. Okay. So once you get through that, you get the parchment paper, which this month it's like a green color. And so you open it up. And the first thing that I saw was this. These are called Witch's Briar. You guys can see this. And they're like little berries or something like that, I believe. It says Witch's Briar. We have included a collection of Witch's Briar or rose hips to insist in bringing about the attraction of health through nature's amulets. We have used rose hips and sleep sachets placed underneath the pillow to bring about undisturbed sleep, free from nightmares or unwanted spirits. Rose hip can also be included in a cleansing bath to wash away negativity and stress that has accumulated around your energy. So I think that's really cool. I might try this in my bath or maybe do the like under the pillow thing because I think that would be like really cool and really interesting. The next herb that we got is this fiber flower, I believe. No, elder flower, sorry. I have a difficult time reading this. But yes, this is elderflower. So the elderflower has been a favorite use in our craft for healing spellworking. The elderflower is a symbol of the aid and support the earth goddess gives to us. The flower has proven to relieve heavy emotion and breaks any blockages, allowing us to move forward through our emotional and spiritual journey. So that's really, really cool. Interesting. Okay, the next thing I see that we have is another tea, which we got um, another tea in a previous box that I still have up there that I need to try. And again, it comes with the little... Um, muslin bag for you to be able to like steep the tea or whatever. So this is the grounded genmica tea. Grounded genmica. Not really sure how to pronounce that, but um, this wonderful health promoting tea includes bonkets, green tea, popped corn, and toasted rice. Genmica tea is originally a Japanese tea and has been used for centuries to bring healthy and hearty energies to you during times of concern and anxiety. We've also included a muslin bag for you to use as you steep your tea. As you sip this hot tea and relax for meditation, practice the art of opening your mind and visualizing your goals. Allow solutions and ideas to naturally intervene. Break away the clutter and anxiety of everyday thoughts and concerns. So that's really cool. And I really need to try these teas out and then kind of like let you guys know um, what I think. But yes, I will definitely try that. Okay, next up again, we have another bath salt, which we get a bath salt every, every month. And I have like my whole collection up there just ready for me to use when I take baths. Maybe I'll take a bath tonight. But this one just has a picture of a lady on it. And it's kind of like green tinted. They always smell amazing. And that one smells amazing. It kind of smells like a, it's got some kind of herb in there. Let me see. Okay, this is the Gaia. Gaia, Jaya, Gaia, sacred salt. As you sink into the beautiful aromas of the sacred salt, visualize a white or green light consuming your aura and expanding around you. Relax and let go of preconceived thoughts and expectations. Allow your inner chatter to slowly stop cluttering your emotions. As you clear your mind and visualize the white or green aura, imagine yourself charging your internal magnet and repositioning your compass. You slowly became one with the energies of the natural components accompanying the sacred salt. Allow the earth's bounty to bless you with healing and therapeutic energies. We've enchanted the sacred salt with cedar wood and jasmine essential oils, as well as white sage and cedar twigs. We've also included a special mixture of our earth magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. So I think I was smelling the jasmine kind of florals, but this is good stuff right there. Okay, next up, we have some more incense. Yay, because I've really been burning like the heck out of mine, so I definitely need more. So these are the incense that came this month. Mmm, those smell good. Sacred Vine Incense. The scent of the sacred vine brings about notes of tea fields and sweet forest dew. Enjoy the beautiful fragrance while working rituals or taking the time to gain knowledge through self-discovery and meditation. So I love these. As you guys know, I'm already burning um, some back here. I actually, like, bought my own um, incense burner off of Amazon because I didn't have one and I didn't know a way to burn them. And I was getting so much incense and I was like, I need to, like, use this. It kind of looks like it's cracking. Maybe that's just the design. But then once I saw what we got in this box, I was like, dang, I, I, I should have waited. I should have waited. So there's a hint. Yeah, I've got more incense to burn. So yeah. 
I was always kind of like hesitant to burn incense because my mom had always said it was like super strong and it like never smelled good. So I was like, oh, maybe I don't want to burn incense, but it's actually like very comforting and a very natural smells and I love it. Okay, so next up we have our oil, which again, every month we get an oil and I actually didn't look at this month's oil. I have my other oils um, behind me as well. Like pretty much everything in the past box, if you're curious, is behind me, so you can usually see it all pretty well. Okay, so this is the oil. Again, it's in a green packaging. There is a stone in there. You can hear it. It's Heart of Gaia, so the Heart of Gaia magical oil. Okay, let's say The Heart of Gaia magical anointing oil. This Heart of Gaia magical anointing oil has been created with the intention of drawing forth the true grounding energies of the Mother Gaia. As Gaia is the spiritual embodiment of the earth, she blesses us with a clear mind so that we may so that we maintain our intentions with steady purpose and conviction. We recommend anointing your skin, candles, or jewelry with this oil so that you may become more in tune with the natural God or Goddess from within. We find comfort in knowing that this oil acts as a magnet to the natural energies that surround us. We have enchanted this magical oil with jasmine, cedarwood, and sandalwood essential oils and have included mandrake root and white oak bark as well. Inside your oil, you will find a Lemurian quartz said to personify oneness and true aura. We've also included a special mixture of our grounding magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. Isn't, um... Mandrake root, isn't that like from Harry Potter? Those like roots that are screaming. Mmm, that smells like a tea. I might like put some of those on my skin. Because it says you can like put this on your skin. Like anoint. Oh, frick! I just spilled that all over myself. <laughs> Go, Hunter. You just got oil all over yourself. And all over my pants. And all over the floor. So um, now my pants are anointed and my hands are definitely anointed, so um, that's lovely. My hand is all sticky now. It's like really oily. It's just such to anoint my skin. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm such a veil. This is why I don't try anything. Mm, but I definitely do smell good now, so. Maybe that was a plus, but yes, it's literally all over my pants now, so. <laughs> Go me. Go freaking me. I'm going to have to change my pants after this video. But yes, you can anoint your skin. I just did it. Went a little overboard, but now I smell amazing. So, <laughs> I mean, that's a blast. It literally smells like a tea. I used to go to a tea house with my Nona um, when I used to go visit her, and there was a tea, and the sugar cubes kind of mixed with the tea, and it smells oh, just like this. Maybe it's that jasmine. Mm, I love this. I'm going to have to like turn that into a perfume. Okay, so next up is a little green bag that has a little mystery in it, which I love. Okay, so this is what comes inside. It's this little coin-looking object, and on the back it says guidance. You guys can see that. I don't know if it's focusing. Camera's kind of interesting. Okay, I have to figure out what this is. Because I always get confused when I'm trying to figure out... Grounding spell charm, no. I think it's the... No, what is this? Okay, I think it's the grounding spell charm, I believe. I could be wrong, but I'm going to read this. It says, spell charms are magical tools designed to help you focus your intention by using both traditional and modern symbols and images. Such charms have a long history as every culture has had their magical talismans and good luck charms. Spell charms are use ancient wisdom to help us solve age-old problems we all still face in the modern world. This specific spell charm embodies grounding with the following symbols incorporated. Four is a number of balance... The elements, Russians in the earth, three lines. Oh, no, it says grounding on the back. Did I say that? Or did I say guidance? It says grounding. Okay, yeah, this is right. It says, okay, four is a number, is a number of balance, the elements, directions, and the earth used throughout the symbol. The square is a symbol of the earth and Jupiter, the planet of manifesting form. Three lines are used to balance the powers of creation, stability, and change. To assist you with grounding, hold the grounding spell charm in your receptive non-dominant hand. Recite this in the incantation on the back. Turn it around and gaze at the symbols. Carry in your pocket or even in your shoe to help anchor your energy in the world and be present. 
and then it has the incantation that you can say. So yes, it, this is a spell charm. So that's really, really cool. I love that. And my back's hurting from slouching. So I'm going to have to have that over here. My incense is like going all over the place and that's cute. Okay, so the next thing that I saw that I was so excited about but realized I should have like waited a little bit is they is this incense disc and it's an incense holder so you just put the incense right in there so i might actually have to try this out because the one i have now the incense like ashes that are burning off just like fall all over like they don't fall into like what they're supposed to so i might use this this is so cool so it's a filigree incense disc this beautiful filigree incense disc has been created for you to add to your indoor or outdoor altar as this incense holder has been created round it is an excellent facilitator in charging your items or aura by the smoke of incense this can be a great center point while creating grids and harnessing energy through magical symbols. So I'm really, really excited to use this. Once this um, incense is done burning down, I'll probably put one in this and try it out. So that's awesome. Okay, next up we have another little green bag. So let's open it. This is our stone, and I opened this, and this stone is beautiful, guys. Like, this is my favorite color. This is my favorite stone ever. It's so gorgeous. Look at this stone, guys. It's like this so super pretty green color. Oh my gosh, I'm in heaven. Okay, so this is the... What is this? Oh, the Emerald Quartz Natural Stone. This beautiful rough quartz stone contains fuchsite, which adds the emerald color and mica inclusions that generate sparkles throughout. Emerald quartz has been used to bridge earthly and spiritual aspirations, connecting us with the love, compassion, and beauty of all natural energies. Also known as a transformational stone, the emerald quartz can be used to bring forth feelings of comfort and belonging, allowing us to move forward without focusing on outside opinions or negative distractions. So this is awesome. I'm definitely going to keep this behind me and display it in a beautiful way because I just love this stone. It's so pretty, guys. Oh, I love this. It's amazing. Just the color is just so, like... Yes! I love that. I'm sorry. I'm freaking out over a stone, but it's pretty dang amazing. Okay, so next thing up is we did get some more sage, which I still have my sage bundle from last time over there because I haven't used it yet because I'm still trying to find, like, the best way that I want to use it. So this is Earth Smoke Sage, and it says, This sage bundle has been created for you using white sage and mountain sage. This unique blend of sage has been bundled with mountain sage, also known as desert mugwort. Mountain sage has been grown in high altitudes. As it is grown, it is collected the earthly energy surrounding it and holds these energies until burned, allowing them to release. As well as space clearing, this earth smoke sage promotes new beginnings and instills confidence. Visualize the healing earth energies being released through the smoke as you allow it to dance through your aura in space. So I do want always wanted to try kind of like burning sage around the home, but I don't really know how to go about that. So if you guys have any like suggestions for a burning sage around the home or anything let me know in the comments or I might have to like look up a YouTube video on how to do it but I am really interested in doing it I just want to be like super oh, prepared and make sure it's not going to like take off my parents or anything okay so next up we're going to do the candle and save the best item for last so the candle came wrapped up in this but I opened it up just to see it because you know that's just me so this one is really pretty. It's a green color and it has kind of some sparkles in it and it has this charm in it which is different than all the other candles I've got because none of them have had charms in them. Um, so this is the, let me get to it. The uh, Teacher Spell Candle with Enchanted Acorn Charm. We've handcrafted this spell candle with the purpose of paying homage to the beauty and energy blessed to us by Mother Earth as we ask for knowledge on our quest to become more fully enlightened. We've also included the Enchanted Acorn Charm that has been lightly pressed into the wax near the top of the candle. This charm has been used to charge your candle with energies of the sacred oak. Remove this charm before you light your candle. This charm can be used in intention sausage or dream pouches. This candle has been enchanted with jasmine, cedarwood, and sandalwood essential oils. We have also included a special mixture of our earth oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. This candle is also accompanied by a spell from our book of shadows that we recommend reciting out loud three to seven times while burning your candle. So this is the spell as well, which I always kind of just keep wrapped up in near the candle. And I actually did find a way to burn the candles um, thanks to last month's box. We got this candle holder, and so it has a candle in it, and this is a way that I can burn these candles, because I don't want them to just go to waste. They're beautiful candles, but I never really had a way to burn them, so now I do, and I'm really excited. Okay, and the last thing that comes in this month's box that is so amazing is this book, and this is called The Green Witch, Your Complete Guide to the Natural Magic of Herbs, Flowers, Essential Oils, and More. So I was so excited when I got this book. This is, like, so amazing. 
Okay, so this is The Green Witch Guide by Erin Murphy Hiscock. This beautiful book has been an excellent resource for us while working to obtain more knowledge about the natural energy that is available to us through nature. We strongly believe in the ongoing quest for valuable information and want to share this passion with you. The Green Witch guides you on your path from how to use herbs, plants, and flowers to make potions and oils for everyday healing to how crystals, gemstones, and even twigs can help you find balance within. You'll discover how to find harmony in the Earth's great elements and connect your soul to every living creature. This guide also contains directions for mixing herbal blends and potions, ritual suggestions, recipes for sacred foods, and information on how to listen and commune with nature. Embrace the world of the Green Witch and discover what the power of nature has in store for you. We truly hope that this book will nourish your craft and bring enlightenment to your outlook on all natural magic. So I just thought that was really, really cool. This book is so cool, and I know I'm definitely going to display this book behind me with my other um, books that I have back there. Like, I have um, this, like, book that's about spears, and then I have a Wicca book, um, and this book's going to go greatly, but I actually do kind of want to like read through the book and just learn things because I'm very uneducated when it comes to using the earth's natural resources for like the betterment so I'm definitely going to read this book and yeah I think that's just so cool if they can add such amazing items into these boxes so that's everything that came in the April Witch's Moon box. I hope you guys enjoyed this box. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and definitely go get yourself the Witch's Moon box if you're interested in any of this, if you find any of this fascinating. It's totally worth the $55 you pay each month because you're definitely getting um, way more, like the value of this box is way more than $55. So it's amazing and just the people that curate this box put so much love into this box that it's just amazing and I love supporting them. So definitely go get your guys' own Witch's Moon box and leave me comments down below if you have gotten the Witch's Moon box. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have an amazing April and I will talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.